The next step will be to turn this into this, wherein this has the uh, squared trailing edge. We want to bevel that. And this is fixed and contiguous with the upper surface of the wing. We need to turn that into a hinged control surface. So the bevel is obtained by just using a sanding block or a sponge and just consistently sanding that down to how, whatever bevel you want. I don't think there's any wrong way to do it. So I like it about like that. So it's sharp enough to be uh, aerodynamic, but not so sharp that it's going to get dinged up and transport in your car and carrying it around and stuff. Next we'll need to score the foam right here to create the hinge. So I butted my straight edge right up to the trailing edge, the bottom surface. And you want to score the foam at least about halfway through, but if anything don't go all the way through the paper and the plastic on the other side. Then move the straight edge back about a quarter inch, like that. Extend your blade a little bit if you need to, and then come at it at an angle. And so you've cut out a little strip here, and you can actually just break it like that and create your control surface. Just clean this out and sand it up a bit. Now you've created a hinge that will allow upward as well as some downward deflection. Depending on how much downward deflection you need, you may need to cut and or sand that out a little bit more. It's also advisable to expose that paper right here because the piece of tape that's going to fold over this hinge it sticks great to itself. It sticks only so-so to the foam, but it sticks well to that little piece of paper that's visible inside the hinge, so it helps to keep the tape up inside that hinge when you apply it. So again, take, be aggressive with taking off the foam, but leave a little bit of uh, paper exposed right there. Now looking at the bottom of the wing, here's the control surface. Just fold that under and apply the tape just about a third of the way on that surface, on the bottom surface. Get that nicely on there, on the bottom, and then just sort of gradually start to work it over the over that edge. I just recommend going back and forth, back and forth until it works up and over that edge. And right when it meets the middle is when it'll stick down to that piece of exposed paper between the pieces of foam, and then continue over to the actual control surface. And this is where invariably it's kind of wrinkled and just not quite perfect and it just takes a little bit of finesse to get that to lay down flat. So be patient and work with it until it lays down flat. Now the tape has been applied across the hinge so there's plastic tape on the bottom, there's paper in between and then there's plastic on top. So it's a pretty impervable hinge, nice and smooth across the top, minimum gap along the bottom. Just need to apply one more piece of tape on the bottom here and depending on your color scheme it's a good idea to wrap it over the edge just at least a little bit to uh, protect the edge. I'm going to go ahead and use yellow. And so there it is fully covered. That last part is the probably the hardest part. That's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed that and I would love to see somebody make some of these and uh, show us what you got and show them what we can do with these.